Hello friends, welcome to Civil Team. In this video, we are going to see about what is meant by PCC, RCC, RBC and DPC. Every civil engineer must know the definition of this and what are the application of these cements and concrete. Let's see what is meant by this. First now, we are going to see about what is meant by PCC. PCC means plain cement concrete. It does not consist any reinforced materials such as steels and some other things. It only consists of cement, concrete, sorry, cement, sand, and aggregate. It is only used for uh, flooring, finishing, and finishing walls. And it is not used for the load bearing structures. This is the plain cement concrete. It is not used for any load bearing structures such as slab, beam, or column, etc. Since it does not contain or bear any loads because plain concrete is weak in tension. Next, we are going to see about what is meant by RCC. RCC means reinforced cement concrete. The steel bars are reinforced with the concrete. Reinforced means it is something sandwiched with more than two materials. Here, the rein steel bars are reinforced with concrete. The, since we already know concrete is weak in tension, so to compensate and overcome the tension, the steel bars are provided because steel is strong in compression. They combine to form a strong material. So we using RCC in all types of structures, especially in load bearing structures such as slabs, columns, beams, etc. Now we are going to say about what is meant by RBC. RBC means reinforced brick concrete. It is the combination of the brick and concrete. Here brick is one day filler material which does not help in give strength of RCC. RBC, is, uh, RBC gives less strength than the RCC. Here, why we are using RBC means concrete is not good in tension and material below the neutral axis does not take part in load resisting. So that portion is replaced by bricks because brick is mostly cost efficient than the concrete. So below the neutral axis, we pouring bricks as a filler material in RBC types of structures. Now we are going to see about what is meant by DPC. DPC is the damp proof course to prevent the entry of moisture and water from the ground surface or from the environmental and the surroundings. We can use it as a sealant also. We can use it as a damp proof as the different materials. Here we are using as a sheet. Some, somewhere we, it is, uh, we use geo, geo membranes and geo polythene and somewhere we use polytechnic polyt Polythene sheet, etc. There are many kinds of damp proof materials. According to the site condition, we can change that materials that which damp proof DPC should use. Thank you for watching our video. For more video, subscribe our channel. Follow our channel in Facebook, Instagram, and Telegram. Join our WhatsApp group by using the link that is given in the description. We are conducting quizzes in Instagram and Facebook. Attend the quizzes and be a winner of the week and monthly winners.